We all remember the Columbia University anti-rape activist who lugged her mattress from class to class in protest of the school's rape policy. Uh, well, she just released a new controversial sex video that she's calling an art piece. Uh, you're seeing a screenshot of the video here. Unfortunately, we can't show you the video because it's extremely explicit. But Emma Solkowitz is seen whimpering in pain and protest in the disturbing footage as an anonymous man slaps her, chokes her, and rips off his condom before seemingly forcing her into having rough sex in a dorm room. Now, the eight-minute clip uh, of the consensual sex turning violent is Solkowitz's newest performance art piece titled This Is Not Rape. Uh, Sokowitz explained the video in more depth. Everything that takes place in the following video is consensual, but may resemble rape. It is not a reenactment, but may seem like one. Further, she states, you might be wondering why I've made myself this vulnerable. Look, I want to change the world, and that begins with you seeing yourself. Yeah, that makes hmm. no sense whatsoever. Hmm. Okay, I am a million percent against her. So uh, really? I yes, I'm I'm uh, interested in this. I'm still I'm still on the fence about this. Okay, uh, so that we're gonna have different we're gonna perspectives, have different yeah. perspectives and so that's really interesting. Uh, so initially she said that she was raped, but that's only after she had a conversation with her other friends, uh, who also went out with that same guy, and they're like, yeah, I think he was kind of rough with me, and then she's like. Oh yeah, I, there was this one incident that I didn't like a couple of months into our relationship. I continued to date him for a couple of months, and then Columbia had a trial, uh, had went through the proceedings, and decided that he was not guilty. Okay, now we don't know right or wrong, and I remember covering this at the time, and we were split on it. We're like, "Ooh, that's a little tough." And then she outed his name. But wait, now they had the proceeding, and according to the proceeding, you're not supposed to say his name, especially if he's found not guilty. And then she started to carry around the mattress. This is the one I was raped on, and I was like, "Oof!" Now it seems like there's a lot of like, "Look at me, look at me." If you really were raped, you get to do whatever you want, and so and you're drawing attention to it because you want to draw attention to what a horrible situation that is. Okay, but now when you do this, I go back to the earlier story and say it's not even close. No, she's all about look at me, look at me. This makes no fucking sense at all. Look at me get raped on video, but it's not rape. It's not a reenactment, but it, but it, it's art. What the fuck is that? So all right, so I I'm obviously emotional about it. Disagree. All right, I so completely, give me, completely, give me completely, completely your completely disagree. So I think in this video, what she's saying is, so it's not a reenactment, but she's showing us a case that is maybe similar. So they engage in a sexual act that is consensual at first, but then turns violent. Once you start saying no, you could be in the middle of sex. It's rape. Once the girl starts saying, you know what? No, no, no. I don't want this. That is rape. And so well, I we think, all agree to that. Yeah, but exactly. how does this video? So that. I think what she's doing, because she started wanting, she realized, wait, I did say no, and the, her ex-girlfriends are saying this too. Yeah, there is a word for what's happening and why I feel this way. And that's why she did the mattress thing. And I don't think she felt that she was getting, uh, I guess, proper, like, you know, I guess proper response from the university. And so she made this video because people don't understand and so she's saying here if you need to see it to believe it this is what it looks like and this is why it's called rape and what she's referencing by calling it this is not a rape is that art piece you know the art piece that says like this is not a pipe but it says it in french and it's supposed to be ironic because obviously it is a pipe mm. and so that's why she's saying this is not a rape just like that art piece says this is not a pipe even though it is a pipe and she's that's why it's yeah, she's labeled that way I read she's, her but she's having the actual sex the guy is slapping her, the guy is choking her, we're doing all this stuff. So it starts out as consensual, and right. then it turns violent, and that's when she starts saying no, and that's when she, she starts saying no in the pain. video. She, I, yeah, she's oh. taping this. I think that the di or the, that, that what she wrote, saying everything that takes place in the following video is consensual, but may resemble rape, mm -hmm. is that she agreed with this actor ahead of time that they were going right. to film this thing. That's so even exactly. though she's saying no, she made it explicit. But then that clear. also makes it more confusing. It is confusing. And then what is then, And then you confuse the point, which is dangerous, right? And so a, a huge problem I have with her is I guarantee you that 98 out of 100 guys that look at this go, oh yeah, you see that? Okay, like it's all bullshit. No, I'm sorry, not 98 out of 100 say it's all bullshit, not remotely. Mm -hmm. But don't like this. They think this is bullshit. And then I'm afraid that a smaller percentage of guys are going to go, next time there's a, there's a rape, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, remember that like, Columbia chick? Remember the Duke stories? Ah, it's all bullshit. Well, right? let me, let me, and let me so I think it does great damage here. to rape victims. This is not for guys. 
This mm. video is not for guys. This video Except is Except it'll be viewed almost exclusively by guys. Whether that's true or not, the intention of this video and whether you agree with it or you don't. And again, I think that the way that I'm looking at this story is in a vacuum. I'm trying to not look at the context around. You know, if this is an art piece, art exists in and of itself. You can inform yourself about the artist. You can inform mm -hmm. yourself about all of the things leading up to it. And, and, and it'll give you a more complex look at, the, look at the art. But many people who have art in their homes observe art in a vacuum. They look at it and they say, what does this do to me? How does this inspire me? What does it tell me? And if she intended to make this video to raise awareness of the fact that there's a kind of a type of rape out there that starts out consensual and halfway through becomes unconsensual. Exactly. And, and women feel pressured not to leave, not to get, you know, whatever the case may be because of the coercion, he's physically larger, it's harder to get out from under him, whatever the case may be. The fact that she's drawing attention to that, that's a good thing. I completely I do agree, agree though, that this is a very complicated issue and a lot of people who who read this article and who watch the art piece are going to be like, I'm more confused than I was at the beginning. Is this good or bad? And so because of that, maybe she didn't go about it the best way. I, I don't, I don't believe her. I, I don't think I believe, she's a bad person I don't believe this. her intent in this video. I believe her intent in this video is, look at me, I'm Emma, I'm Emma, I'm an artist. Oh yeah, art, yeah, me, yeah. Oh, what happened to me was so tragic. Let's do it again on tape. But okay, that being said, even Whoa. if you think that way, I know, which is like, Hannah's having a hard time. Wow. Even if you do think that way, and even if there's a part of her intrinsic personality, I'm saying if, that is exhibitionist, that makes that makes her want to do that, don't you think that the core reasoning behind that is trauma? Yes. Don't you think no. that it Every, comes I down think, from I something think, terrible that happened to everybody her? Everybody has I don't different ways her. of coping, and so this is her way, and not only is she trying to cope in this way that maybe you don't agree with, which is one thing, um, like it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like that's how she no, it can does cope matter. however she wants. I don't believe her. You guys keep saying cope as if she actually got raped. Okay. But who are you? So no. I, I, but wait, 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 wait. Who are you guys to say she did get raped? Because she it was said actually she, an adjudication. She said she got raped. It no bullshit. Bullshit. It A lot matter. of people say no, 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 no. Saying you got raped doesn't mean you got raped. There's a trial. There's an adjudication. Do you think women want to say they got raped? Do you think no? That's do you like think that every that person who say? has said they got raped actually got raped? No, but do you if think 90, it's one hundred percent, if ninety-nine percent of them did, then I'm going to err on the side of caution. And I'll tell you what. I do not. When I'm an I American. Article, I try people. I don't assume because somebody said something that is, it's absolutely tr true. True. Look, know rape is hideous, but you, you guys know. are making it. You guys you are belittling it by saying baggage. everyone who makes an accusation is by definition correct. No, that not. is not no, true. Not Nobody said that here. What we said That's is That's kind of what you guys no, said. No, not at all. You know how difficult it is to prosecute rape. You know how many false positives and false negatives there are when you prosecute prosecute rape. You know that we can't only rely on the record of the courts and that many women never get to make it to trial. And if one woman, one woman is saying, I got raped and this is how I'm going to cope with it, I don't see anywhere in this article the name of that man. That man is not outed in this article. No, it she may outed be, him early. It may she be true absolutely that positively it may outed be him true. after he was adjudicated to be innocent. That may be true. Or but, not guilty but within so Colombia. Wait, 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 but within the man context, is adjudicated to be, uh, to be innocent, then you think that. That may be true, but within the context innocent? of this if that is, video, no, no, that's I don't, irrelevant. No, no, no. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Do, do, are you right that there's a, a thousand ways to get away with a rape and that makes all of us incredibly angry, that injustice? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do some men who were uh, adjudicated not guilty, did they actually do it? Absolutely, absolutely, and it's so hard to prove. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got these burdens, and we gotta get past these to get to justice, right? Mm -hmm. But if every, but not every person who says they were raped were actually raped. We do need a process. We need a process to determine guilt, right? Of course. In this case, we had a process. It was determined the kid didn't do it, okay? So now she takes it in her own hands and says he did do it, and then she carries around the mattress so the whole world says, him, 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 he's a rapist. He's a rapist, he's a rapist, he's a rapist. And now she does a video where she has sex on tape, going, hello, I'm about the world, see me, see me, see me, and then says, okay, it's this guy, it's this guy. I think no, no, it is no. enormously then, unfair to that guy. Your problem here is, is, is that she coping. outed the guy. And my, I have a problem with that too, but I'm able to separate these two things in my mind and say that this video could potentially have impact, and I don't see anything wrong with doing this video because she doesn't out the guy in the video. Right. There's no evidence that she mentions the guy's name and that it's attached to the well, we video. We already know she outed him, Kara. We already know that. You can't, like, like you're looking at it in but a vacuum. But she can still but, but, that, but that's what I said it. before, is no, that I'm looking no, at no, it I'm in saying, a vacuum. That's what I'm saying, because you said that, and that's yeah. a totally justified way to look at it, but it's also justified to look at the context that we do have. 
uh, you know, I, I think context and looking at art and talking sure. about anything is incredibly important. I think it can it, it can it, help, but you you don't have to. I have think it's it. a fair point. It could uh, also hurt. Let's I mean, pretend. Let's like, hold on, real quick. It, it, I think that that is it's what Jenk part of what Jenk is saying, not entirely what Jenk is saying. But part <laughs> of what he's saying is that is that the context that he has this latest piece of art that she is putting forward undermines her credibility on her previous claim, and that is a. Just so, because is that he has a, fair, a problem is, with the way that she's presenting right, herself. Right, but do, is, it, it, do, is it fair for someone to see that piece of art and think that it undermines the artist's credibility? Completely, for her? yeah, right, I well, understand I mean, that. Of course that's fair. Yeah. To say that her credibility is undermined is a fair opinion. To say that because of that, you know that she didn't get raped? No, no, I'm not saying that. So let's be very clear about this. Cross. No, let's be very clear about this. Look, looking at it from the outside, mm -hmm. I have a lot of doubts about her story. Sure. Partly because three months later or however many months later, she goes, oh yeah, after I talked to my girlfriends, that sex act that we had many, many months ago, and then I had many, many sex acts with him afterwards, I've decided in hindsight, I didn't quite like, okay? You but this happens okay, to women no, in I'm, third I'm world dubious, countries and I will be time. on the record as saying in, I'm enormously dubious of that. But my opinion on that is irrelevant because it was already adjudicated. Okay, and the people who saw all of the evidence, not the partial evidence that we said, said the kid is not guilty. So now we are going to overturn that without seeing the evidence and assume he is. We're not and assuming that she's a, he is. None and, of us are so, assuming that he's not guilty. What we're assuming is that if this woman has any history at all in her life, whether it had to do with that man or any other man, if she has any emotional resonance with the idea of aggression, rape, dominance, anything like that, she has every right to make a piece of art mm -hmm. and to stand behind it, regardless of if it has anything to do with this one man. And I agree wholeheartedly that there should be actually legal consequences for outing an innocent person who should be protected by the law because you can't undo that. I know this. Look at, I mean, I, I talk well, about could, this all the time in science. Like, look at Andrew Wakefield and the vaccine stuff. You can't undo. He could sue her. Um, he could sue her. Yeah. But, I mean, perhaps there's but then no that's criminal gonna be a bigger story and his exactly. name's going to be all over and the he papers. Want that. Right. Right. And, 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 and you know what's going to happen? It, a certain percentage of the country is going to assume he's a rapist for the rest of his and life. And I agree that that's a huge bummer, but I think that what we sometimes make a mistake of doing in the media is inflating these kinds of stories so that they seem to overrepresent the issue. And the truth of the matter is that these kinds of stories where a man is found innocent and where his name is, you know, put out in the in the press and he becomes kind of victimized by that, which is really sad, is such a small percentage of the outcomes of rape trials that I would hate to make that synonymous with how we feel about rape culture in this country. I think it's something Fox News does all the time, and I think it's something that I try to fight against. But, Cad, that's actually exactly my point about this. Mm -hmm. So my point isn't like, hey, this is no big deal. My point is you've taken the, the least convincing case of rape that I've seen in the news in a long, long time, and they, she's now made a national case about it as if this is what normally the issue is. But this is think... not normally the issue where someone carries around a mattress, outs people who have been right. adjudicated no, no, no. to be not guilty, etc. Most of the time, rape culture is enormously real, enormously right. damaging. That's, that's the point and has of to be activism. This is a terrible way of fighting I back know, against that. I know, but that's what that. activism does. Right. Activism is almost always on one extreme end. Activism is always trying to draw attention to the issues in a way that's abnormal so that the people whose voices can't be heard are kind of represented. But I think she's hurting their voices. She, she may be. She may be a bad representative for this. watches this and then thinks, wait, that is rape, where I say no because it's gotten violent, even though I consented to start, and then I decide do you know what I don't want to do this anymore I'm not comfortable with this that it's bringing light to this whether or not she you agree she was raped or not it's still bringing light to that and it's still important that people are seeing this and realizing that facet of rape and because I think most you're rapes both right. aren't like jumping out of the bush and attacking you're you. most both of right them are this rape, could help uh, like people a boyfriend this, or a date. that's a good point this could definitely help young women mm -hmm. who, who don't understand or who have been victimized by this and haven't seen somebody speak about it there's no doubt about it that this could help a lot of people at the same time it could hurt a lot of people because if it turns out to be true that this woman is crying rape and she wasn't ultimately raped, she could be kind of losing. Uh, she she could be undoing a movement that actually needs to be gaining steam. So so because of that, I That's think that Jack's point that she's yeah exactly a movement I think that badly needs. Help you're both right. I think if we take a step back, this this issue is bigger than Emma Solkowitz. 
Mm. And so if we look at it and say larger than Emma Selkowitz, what this represents is an important issue. I think we would all agree about that. I wonder that. if we're right. going to be, as an artist now, I wonder, because it's now twice that she, like, I wonder if we're going to be hearing, it'll yeah. be interesting to know in 25 years whether we're still examining the art of Emma Selkowitz. Uh, something tells yeah. me that, something tells me that this is going to go away very quickly. That this no, is not going to be no, art that gonna... lives in the halls of the Getty anytime soon. Yeah, well, that might be the case. <laughs> But she's going to want the spotlight again. Okay, that's me being uh, my uh, personal opinion on it. But last note of caution. Don't assume you know what happened in that room exactly. based on the little evidence that we have. I obviously have my suspicions. I was incredibly honest about them. But remember, the people, the only people that kind of know are the people who knew all the evidence and looked at that case at Columbia. Okay? So... You weren't in that room. I wasn't in that room. None of us were in and that room. The only room. people who really so, know are her and, and the him. guy. Right. Yes. That's that's the truth of it.